ओके नाउ लेट्स लुक एट करंट एंड वोल्टेज पैरामीटर्स वेयर विल इट विल बी यूज्ड सो वोल्टेज एंड करंट पैरामीटर्स इज नॉट अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ लॉजिक फैमिलीज इट्स इट्स सम पैरामीटर्स दैट विल बी यूज्ड इन सम ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फॉर एग्जांपल फैन आउट यू हैव सीन देयर वी हैव यूज्ड फोर करंट्स राइट आई ओ एच आई आई एल एच आई ओ एल आई आई एल दीज फोर करंट्स आर योर करंट पैरामीटर्स वॉट वी आर दे दे i i h uh, and i o h you can see here i i l and i o l they are in subscript o l in is subscript so i i h is input current when output is high output current when output is high input current when output is low output current when output is low okay so this is input side this is output side this is high this is low right and you have used them these are your current parameters and you have used them in fan out cases this is the high state fan out is a low state fan out and you choose the overall fan out will be minimum of high and low right so here this uh, iih is uh, here is going inside the uh, the gate and ioh is going out of this gate so that is how fan state is uh, high state fan out is defined and here you can see these two currents uh, i o l and i i l uh, these two uh, so they are going in the other direction because the output will be uh, low here right it's written output current when uh, output is low the output of this gate is low okay output current is this gate and input current when output is low output of which gate this gates output is low then input current this the direction is different okay so you reverse the direction and you change the h2 Uh, l okay rest everything will be same so that is how why why it is doing that because the output is low it will not give the current it will drain the current out of all the gates here in this case the output is high so it will provide the current to other gates so this we have already seen just i have uh, redrawn it so that you will be able to see the current parameters these are the current parameters now i'll be moving to voltage parameters and that will be used in noise margin okay so let me uh, uh, write it down and also make the figure of noise margin okay now let's look at voltage parameters here you can see just like current parameters we had four parameters i i h i a i l i o h i o l here also we have in terms of voltage we have voltage parameters v i h v i l v o h v o l and this is how you can remember related to this i will tell you noise margin but first i wanted to show you how you can remember this the most important part is minimum maximum thing uh, whereas if you will see vih vih means direct right it's a, it's for high something and input voltage right so what it is minimum input voltage at gate to recognized as logic one what does it mean how much minimum input voltage you have to apply at the input of gate to be recognized as logic one so that log uh, gate will understand that logic one has been applied how much voltage you have to apply minimum why minimum i will tell you uh, then you have voh similarly minimum voltage at output of gate to be recognized as logic one this is at the input side of the gate and this is at the output side of the gate to be recognized as logic one means output of the gate will be some voltage what should be that voltage to be recognized as logic one that is voh so minimum voltage we have to uh, decide right the, 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 this values gives the minimum voltage if you'll apply below that uh, minimum voltage it will not be recognized as logic one if you will apply above that it is fine it will be still considered as logic one so there is a minimum value above which it will consider the voltage as logic one right similarly you have vil that is maximum input voltage at gate to recognized as logic 0 here it was logic 1 here it is logic 0 that's why l is written input i i is written for input maximum here it is maximum input voltage at gate to recognized as logic 0 same here also you can see maximum voltage at output of gate to recognized as logic 0 this is for input this is for output so same thing you have written but for logic 0 okay so what could be the maximum value of voltage 
you can apply at the input of the gate so that the gate will th think that logic zero has been applied that is what it's saying similarly this guy what it is saying maximum what would be the maximum voltage you can have at the output of the gate to be recognized as logic zero right and this is the figure you can remember uh, these guys so this figure you can imagine this figure you can imagine this is for output voltage range uh, in y axis you have uh, voltage values so this is the telling you the range of output voltage means what should be the range where you will call uh, output voltage as low or high right similarly you have this side input voltage range this is the voltage line means x axis is voltage uh, sorry y, y axis is voltage so here you can see uh, what this tells is what will be the range of voltages you will call it as input uh, voltage low or high right so here you can see it is going from zero to vcc that is supply voltage maximum you can give supply voltage and in between you have this range so zero to vol vol is what this maximum voltage maximum upper limit upper limit maximum voltage at output of gate to be recognized as logic zero means if the voltage will be in this uh, region at the output of the gate you will call it as low logic low and if the voltage is between voh to vcc voh is what minimum voltage at output of the gate output of the gate recognized as logic one minimum voltage that's why there is minimum here that's why here it is maximum right so if the voltage will lie at the output of the gate if the voltage will lie between voh to vcc you will call it as logic one has been the output of the gate okay so this is the range for logic one this is the range for logic zero for output voltage of the gate okay that is the range and in between whatever the dash line is it is called indeterminate range okay means if the voltage will lie in between this uh, you will call it as uh, means like it's uh, faulty it's not uh, giving the correct output right so it has to be between this guy for uh, one logic one for between this for logic zero that is for output now same thing you can imagine for input side as well so you have zero to vcc between zero to vil if the vo if you will apply the voltage at the input of the gate it will be recognized as logic zero vil is what maximum input voltage this line is you can see maximum it is telling maximum input voltage at gate to recognize as logic zero similarly if the voltage you will apply at the input of the gate is between vih to vcc it will be taken as logic one at the input side okay so vih is what minimum input voltage minimum minimum means for logic one that's the minimum value you have to if you will apply greater than that it's fine so that is what it's telling minimum input voltage at gate to recognize as logic one so the, remember this figures okay now you can see there is a mismatch type right uh, the the range indeterminate range is different for both these guys although you have more range uh, at the input side for uh, logic zero and logic one here you have less range uh, so that's that creates uh, noise margin okay so i'm gonna tell you what is noise margin uh, next but my motive of this uh, part was to show you how to remember these guys and what is vih vil voh vol mostly people get confused that's why i'm telling so this is the output side this is the out input side just remember these lines uh, above means high uh, below means low and for low you will have maximum limit for high you will have minimum limit the okay, same thing goes for both of them but you have indeterminate range a uh, difference in indeterminate de range so that will produce a noise margin we will see what it is so this is about voltage parameters you have seen the current parameters and its use in fan out the voltage parameters you have seen uh, this will be used in noise margin so i'll show you what is the noise margin okay now i will tell you what does noise margin means it is also called as noise immunity noise margin is a is a uh, uh means what you can say is you can quantify the noise immunity noise immunity means the ability of the gate to handle noise what do i mean by handling noise means how much voltage it can tolerate in high side as well as low side okay input side output side for low and high what does it mean you can see the same diagram i have made here 
this is the output range this is the input range same everything is given the difference between voh and vih is noise margin that is for high state similarly the difference between vil and vol is noise margin for low state what will be the overall noise margin overall noise margin will be the minimum of noise margin high noise margin low and noise margin we desire to be as more as good okay so there are few things i told you the difference between voh and vih that this difference this is voh line this is vih line difference between this is called as noise margin for high state similarly you have for low state noise margin between difference between vil and voh voltage they are in voltage the minimum of these two will be the overall noise margin and we want our noise margin to be as high as possible that's it that is desirable okay so this is like a quantifying type of uh, thing I means quantity wise now i have taken an example here so that uh, you will be able to uh, see okay so here you can see uh, i have made a circuit mm, how should i hold one minute so here mm, you can see a circuit i have made just a simple circuit normal circuit i have taken so one i have written two i have written imagine this this curve this curve for one the, here i have made and the second curve for second gate okay so here you can see first gate will be this is the output range and this is the input range okay i have taken some examples 0 volt 5 volt uh, vcc 0 and vcc is uh, 5 volt 0 and vcc is 5 volt here i have taken 0 0.5 volt that is vol voh is 4 volt here and uh, here vil is 1 volt and vih is 3 volt right this is for one and this is for second i am telling you so don't imagine like this is for one uh, oops this is for uh, this is not for single gate okay so this one is for one gate and this one is for another gate now how you can visualize it how you can see it see okay here you can see uh, what you can see is this is for this this is for this now the output of this is connected to input of this right you can see that output of this is connected to input of this so let's say this guy's output is one okay logic one and it is applying voltage uh, uh, like uh, 4.2 volt okay 4.2 is somewhere here Right, somewhere here 4.2 volt so this guy is applying 4.2 volt means high output it is providing to this gate now what happens because of noise what happens this voltage becomes 3.8 volt okay now what will happen see because of formula you can calculate 4 minus 3 is noise margin high side high state 1 volt and uh, 1 minus 0 0.5 is noise margin low state right so minimum of these two will give you overall noise margin minimum is 0.5 so this is the noise margin now you have 4.2 output from here but at the input because of noise internal noise some system noise it is 3.8 volt what is the noise margin it can handle 0.5 right so what does it mean 4.2 uh, is here you subtract 0 0.5 that is uh, down you will get it goes to what 4.2 minus 0 0.5 is 3.7 right and you are uh, this this gate is receiver 3.8 volt means it is tolerable okay it is coming inside the range so that is what it means uh, noise margin is uh, how much signal it can tolerate so this is for output side this is for input side 4.2 you applied and it because of noise it went to at the input of this guy it went to 3.8 volt but your noise margin is 0.5 means it can go till 3.7 and you are applying 3.8 here means high you have sent and this guy will also receive high okay because the noise it is under noise margin now same example if you will take if this guy is applying 4.2 volt output it is giving and it is receiving because of re uh, noise what happened it receives 2.9 volt now 4 volt 4.2 you have applied and you are receiving somewhere here this guy is receiving 2.9 volt right 2.9 is in this indeterminate range 
your noise margin can have 0.45 volt only remember minimum of these two you have to check that will be the overall noise margin 0.5 hopefully you are able to see that once output is input of another gate that's why there is transition okay so 4.2 you are applying 2.9 you are getting indeterminate range means this guy will not work properly because it is not getting a uh, uh, high output means you this guy applied high but this guy didn't received high because of noise so that is decided by how much it can tolerate noise margin that uh, noise noise margin quantity tells you that so it can go 0.5 below and this guy can go 0.5 above similar case you can have for zero as well if you'll have zero uh, output here you applying some 0.3 volt and because of noise it uh, goes to somewhere like uh, 1.3 volt here right so it's indeterminate right uh, because it can only handle uh, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 that is 1 volt and you are going beyond 1 volt so hopefully this example is giving you a picture is just for picture for calculating the noise margin you just take the difference between them you will be able to get it but what does this actually mean is how you are uh, able to see right so you will calculate this value and you should be able to visually see it this is for another gate and this is for different gate they are not for same gate only okay so hopefully this small example gives you the feel this is about noise margin and uh, i think we are done with uh, all the all the uh, parameters uh, uh, and remember it has to be as high as possible noise margin okay so that the difference will be more and you will get the more range to be called as high or low right uh, one more is remaining is operating temperature and that i will tell you here only let me remove it and let me write i am operating temperature is simple uh, there is no such thing uh, high fi type operating temperature what is operating temperature it is the temperature range uh, in which an ic functions properly temperature range in which IC functions or whatever the circuit you will have functions uh, for, uh, properly means uh, for example if you have let's say uh, temperature range of uh, uh, 0 to degree to Celsius to 70 degree Celsius means your circuit will be able to perform its operation between 0 degree to 70 degree Celsius but if you will go beyond that or be uh, less than this it will not perform properly I see you can think of it some uh, logic family only some gate will be there and gate or or gate made by some family okay so uh, in data sheets you will be having these all things parameters uh, so what should be the operating range uh, uh, so that uh, the ic will not get affected by the temperature and it will not uh, function properly so that's the meaning okay that's all so this is about uh, uh, temperature range and uh, so this is for commercial purpose i think and the military uh, applications will have different range because sometimes they work in very cold environment or very harsh type of environments um, like uh, uh, very uh, where there is too much temperature 120 why uh, for 50 60 70 degrees celsius or minus 15 minus 20 degrees celsius so for those military purposes uh, the ic's designed are different and for commercial purposes normal purposes is uh, different temperature range so that is the final uh, characteristics now i'll move on to the questions